Right then guys, good morning. It is bright and early, it's a Tuesday. I'm filthy, I've been at this property now for quite a few days and today's the day guys. We are tackling probably what is gonna be my hardest job of the year, <laughs> right at the end of the year. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. It's gonna look a damn sight better than what it does now, whatever I do to it though. So this is a tennis court that is in a terrible state of disrepair. Um, all the stones are loose, there's no top coating on it at all, it's all been worn away. It's in a bad, bad state and it's massive. Our job is to get all of these trees sticking out of it, look. Plants, moss, leaves, everything, and try and get it back to, uh, you know, at least this here. So, yeah, that's the goal, guys. Um, again, a lot of it does come off quite nicely in big chunks. Method wise, I originally was going to use the Westerman for this, um, the big rotating wire brush that you've seen me use before. However, it's just a bit too damp, guys, I think. Um, the Westerman doesn't do very well when everything's really wet. So, the plan is shovel. Up and down with a shovel, thousands of times, all day for eight hours, and let's see how far we can get. The only thing I don't have is a shovel, so I can't find mine, so I'm banking on the customer having one. You'd think, oh Sid, well, you run a pressure washing business, why don't you pressure wash it? Guys, it would just be a mud bath, it really would. Um, it would be way too difficult, to be honest, and it would just further rip all the stones out and damage it even more. Look, you can see here, look, a faint green colour of how it used to be. Sadly, it's not like that anymore. We've got all that down there as well. I said to him um, when I first walked the property, because obviously the main job is the roof and the, the stones and everything. Um, he was like, oh, I've got something down here. Um, you probably wouldn't want to do it. And I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I don't want to do that. But I'm sure the people on YouTube would very much enjoy seeing me do that. So I was like, okay, I've got it. I've done a fantastic price for it as well. <laughs> like a really low price because I just know it'll make a fun video for everyone to watch and see me sweating and struggling on this one. So it uh, comes off pretty nicely. I'm thinking with a big shovel. You know what I mean? We can uh, expose it and get it all looking good. So Woo! let's go. Okay, so it's taken about 60 seconds to fill up the first wheelbarrow. The dumping location is all the way around there. And the wheel's flat.
wanted to clear a strip so I could work easier, but again, this needs another rinse off. We just, I'm just figuring out the plan now with Ian at the moment. He's got a few tools. He's got like a big wire brush thing that I might give a, give a try. Um, a strimmer is, is another good option as well. Obviously, I don't do this for a living, guys. I know I clean stuff, but I mean, there's, I can already think in my head, even on like a, a skid loader, imagine that, just laying the bucket flat and just driving up and down with that. That would be a good shout, like a little mini digger thing. Um, gigantic leaf blower as well like one of the big backpack ones again i don't have one guys i don't need one jobs like this are incredibly rare little bits of moss like this are no problem we don't have to worry about that because we're going to be doing a biocide treatment same chemical we put on the roofs we'll be putting on this afterwards anything like this left over within a few days it'll be brown and then you just gotta let the weather do its thing and it will basically start to disappear i've already made a pile up over there as well i'm on wheelbarrow number five now um and we've done that so judging from that there's more leaves in the middle as well i'm predicting about 100 wheelbarrows for this i will be keeping count throughout the day so yeah bear with me let's carry on
Okay. So we're getting a skip. Um, that's the new development. There should be a skip there tomorrow, so I've, I'm just dumping it on here. All right then, folks, I will be wrapping up the day here. I'm a broken man. I am a broken man. I, I, I didn't underestimate this. I knew it was going to be hard, um, but I thought I'd have one or two other people on it with me. So, like, obviously, it's. I don't mind doing one thing, but having to scrape it, put it in the wheelbarrow, take the wheelbarrow, dump the wheelbarrow, come back, more scraping, more shoveling. It's quite taxing on your own. It would have been like cool if I had just like a float guy around today. Um, that could have just been running wheelbarrow barrows. It would have made it a lot faster, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's got to be all the way across. That's well, it's up to my waist. It's like waist height. So what's that? I don't know. Four feet to three and a half. I don't know. I, don't, I can't remember how tall I am, guys. Let's pretend I'm six five. So yeah, I don't know. Three and a half, four feet of moss there, all the way along. I don't know how many tons. No idea. Anyway, guys, that'll be it for now. I will see you in a moment. It will be a whole new day for me. Just a moment for you. All right, cool. Okay then, guys. Day two on the tennis court. Um, so here's the progress. Oh, would you believe it? This is actually done. Um, well, not completely done. So once all of the majority, so we're technically halfway, right? So once all this is done, I can do most of this with that big wire brush machine thing. Um, once I've got the heavy stuff up and obviously all the leaves as well. Um, once we're down to this sort of base mud, muddy moss, obviously as the ground is uneven, guys, it's very hard to get this out. Um, but I would like to get a little bit more than this off. Ideally, the height of the the moss left, if there's any green left on it, I kind of want it to be like this. As you see, it's just in the gaps. Very hard to get out. There's not really, unless you wire brushed every square inch, you're not really going to get, you know, and I mean by hand as well, you're not really going to get that out. Um, so that's why we're going to be relying on the chemical treatment for that. But as final result goes in a video, you're not going to really see a proper final result for months because you've got to kill the surface off you've got to kill all the organic growth on it with the biocide and then you let it die um, and you just let it sort of dissipate over time so it will still be a bit green on the end result which is a bit frustrating i can't pressure wash it guys if i could pressure wash it it would be all black and it would look brilliant but i just can't it's going to destroy the surface even more so i just can't do that unfortunately so there is going to be a bit of green left on it but i don't know i think you'll agree it's a million times better isn't it than what it was um, so yeah, this is the focus of today. Get all the heavy stuff off this. Go over the whole thing again with that really hard to use wire brush. And then treat it. I don't know if we're going to be able to treat it because of the weather. You really need the ground to dry out. If all this moss is wet, like it is at the moment. So all that really damp, I mean, like if I press it, there's literally water coming out of it. Right? If it's wet, the treatment's not going to work on it. It's, it's too damp. So it's basically just going to be diluted straight away as soon as it touches the moss so the treatment might have to happen next year i think um sort of in january if we get some dry days in january and let it dry out a little bit but we'll see if we can do it today if we can do it tomorrow i will definitely do that so plan for the, to the day finish the half wire brush the whole thing do some fine detailing get the heaviest green stuff off that's on the uneven surfaces i think there might be a skip arriving and then it would be a case of transporting all of this into a skip that should be there so yeah, what a pile. Anyway, let's begin. It's bright and early, nine o'clock in the morning. Let's do this. Hey guys, it's funny. I really thought this was like, I really thought it was like a mound, um, like the the surface had come up like a volcano, you know, and like sort of, I don't know, maybe it was a big tree root or something, but no, that's actually just growth, which is crazy. Check this out.
Hey guys, if anybody is lucky enough, I'm main shot, if anybody is lucky enough to get their hands on one of these, I think, I can't remember where the customer said it was from, I think it might be from Holland, um, a, a snow schlafer, right, snow shovel, yeah, the, the build quality on this, I'll tell you, it's ridiculous, okay, bear in mind guys, an average tennis court, I'll double check the measurement and put it on screen, but I think the average tennis court is about 600 meters squared. This single snow schleifer, right, has scraped basically the whole thing and not broken. Like, to me, that's ridiculous. It's still in great nick as well. This hasn't even bent. You know, it's only, it's, is it metal or plastic? I don't know, but that has not even bent, which is just ridiculous, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's blunted a little bit, but the customer's apparently had it for 15 years. So if anybody is from Holland, I think he said Holland, I'm not sure. If anyone is from the place where you can get kind of this exact one, right please reach out and get me one sent over i'll pay top dollar for it please because this is the best shovel schlafer i think i'm probably saying that wrong guys it's the best one i've ever used there's no branding on it there's no nothing on it guys but flawless flawless piece of kit i've loved every minute of it I haven't, but it's made the job a lot easier. So this won't be the last video on this job, um, probably will be for this year, but I have spoken to the customer about actually uh, resealing it, filling the gaps in, and actually restoring this properly. Um, so that hopefully will be a video in future. I've never done that before. I would love to have a go. It's gonna be one of them no pressure jobs. I'll just do it for the video, you know? Um, the customer will pay for all the materials for it, and I'll just see how it goes, squeegee with the uh, timer seal stuff and we'll, we'll figure something out. So yeah, a lot to do. This is gonna look a hell of a lot better when it's been brushed as well. While I'm brushing, I might get Brad to just go around some of these parts with that, um, with that hoe uh, and just get some of these extra bits off because it can come off just to get the stuff that's holding the most damp down. Like I said before, if I can get the whole surface to that around this here, there's still gonna be green patches guys. So it's not gonna look beautiful yet, but eventually it will. Once the treatment's been on it for a while, give it well give it 24 hours all of this green will be orange and then it just starts to fade and starts to dissipate so um there it will look like this i mean this is just mud there but that sort of color there that's what all this green will go to um but yeah i'll see if there's a wire brush around as well because it might be worth giving these a little bit of a wire brush just to clear them up but we'll see so the plan once all this is done 
if we can come back seal it once everything's been killed off and it's looking all nice fill in the holes um get some of these little roots out as well i'll get brad to do that in a minute um that's quite a lot actually now that i look around um and then if we put some timer seal on it seal over the whole thing and then we can do the lines as well look because you can faintly see them you see these little white lines look for the court ever so faint but we can get the whole thing done get a, get a net put back on it and maybe even have a game of tennis how about that right let me move this trailer last big bit cut that down i can't move them bags at the moment guys they're full of soil i literally can't move them um, way too heavy they're probably over a ton each um i ain't dragging them <laughs> across this court but custom will sort out at some point um yeah let's move the trailer <sighs> move the trailer he says Morning guys, last uh, day of the year for me and I look what the van says, check anti-pollution system, engine light is on, let's try to turn it off and on again eh? Yeah that's not good is it? My service light only came on yesterday as well. I'm not going to risk that. I'll take the other van. Oh, looks like we'll have to take the Beamer, guys. The other van's packed, like, proper full of stuff as well. The full tank of water, and I don't really have time to drain that all out. I've got to go. Last day. Three degrees. See you when I get there. Okay, then, guys. I could not leave it like that. We are back for a final day. Um, no skip, as mentioned, but... The customer's built up loads of planters to put this moss in instead because um, he's going to be growing vegetables and whatnot as well so brad's job of the day is to move this massive load of however many wheelbarrows it was in the end into some wooden planters down at the bottom there and then my job for the day is to sort all of this out obviously my van had a check engine light the other van was full of crap so um, I just thought I'd bring the car today. We don't need any tools, all the stuff's here anyway. So I've got to do all this. The only problem with this, it's not an even surface, guys. So yeah, I've just started here and it's not very easy to get up. So there's a big, massive pole down there. So I'm not gonna start at the bottom. I'm gonna work my way down there. 
I don't know how many wheelbarrows this is going to be, but realistically, it should be a lot easier than that. Um, let's take basically on pretty much the final result of this now. I've probably shown it 50 times, so sorry about this. But yeah, again, rain last night, guys. No chance of treatment today. So we'll probably be coming back in January to get this all treated anyway. So yeah, look at that. What a difference, guys. I hope you're all impressed with it. We've worked hard on it. I have absolutely tried my best. So that's all you can do really, isn't it? And the treatment will sort this out. But it kind of starts looking better every day really now. So yeah, check it out. What a difference, man. It's nuts. Anyway, limited batteries today. Um, all my batteries are at home. I didn't put them in the car, so I've only got two. So we'll see what we can get done with two. And yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Right then folks, it is complete for now. We just need to treat, but we will be back. This will be our first job to finish off in January. Um, 
hopefully we've got some better weather then. Uh, obviously I don't have the van, I'm gonna have to leave ladders here and stuff. So I'm gonna start work a little, I was planning to go back on the 8th. I think I'm gonna go back on the 6th for this one. Come and finish this up, treat everything, get it all looking nice, and then hopefully return in the summer and we might be recoating this thing. How cool would that be? So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on the future of this court. Um, it looks better the more I look at it, guys. I'm very, very pleased. Um, with this, we've started to fill up them planters, but the customer said just we can deal with that afterwards. So basically just kind of leave this here for now, let it sink down a little bit. He's gonna use some of it for, um, you've basically got to wait till the rest of his planters are built up as well. So he'll do that over Christmas. So when we come back, um, we'll get the rest of that shifted into there. Um, and then here's how this came up. I mean, again, I'll put the before pictures in now of how green it was. There's still green on it, but we will get rid of it over time. Um, so yeah, massive improvement. My hand is killing me. It's holding a pole and uh, holding the thingy and squeezing a trigger for three days. Oh gosh, it's this finger. It's killing me, but hey, nothing to complain about here. I'm very happy with the job. All of that is done. All of this is done. I really want to move these, but they literally weigh a ton. Um, so yeah, there we are. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a like, do something. Um, this will be my last video now before Christmas. So I will be seeing you guys in the new year. Thank you for all the support this year. Thanks for all the kind wishes on recent videos and things like that. It's been uh, really cool to see the support and everything. So I'm glad I could end the year with a bang. There might be another video. I don't know yet. I haven't confirmed it. Um, you guys remember Joe? the tank man um it's not a tank this time it's something else so it, he's messaged me about it he needs he needs something doing i'm not going to spoil it but if there is another video it will be that so um that might be this week or next week so not a work day for me that'll be a fun one something i've wanted to do for a very long time as well so yeah there is our result guys what a journey hey should we have a go and have a quick look at the roof i mean you can see the roof gleaming from over there that looks fantastic oh much easier to clean a roof than a tennis court, guys, I'll, I'll tell you that. So yeah, check this out. These tiles were done, but they're very old clay tiles. Um, so they've been biosided. They might come up a little bit better than that, but it's not organic growth on them, it's carbon. So yeah, you'll uh, have trouble getting rid of that without any acid. Um, so yeah, there's the roof as well, check it out. Happy days. In regards to the tennis court, I've spoken to a few people last night um, who have cleaned a lot of tennis courts. And I said, do you think this might be the worst tennis court in the UK? And the three people that I spoke to who have done probably hundreds of tennis courts between them, thousands maybe, um, all said, yes, never seen one that bad in my life. So crowned winner of the worst tennis court in the UK. I've done it. I have absolutely done it. But yeah, thanks guys. Have a great Christmas. Enjoy some time with your family and friends. Uh, yeah, rest, relax. Christmas can be a bit of a dodgy time. I remember I said it last year. I'm not usually good over Christmas. I don't like sitting still and doing nothing. But this year, I'm really gonna try and just relax. Um, I think it's very important. I know a lot of you out there, especially people that run their own business as well, are just like me. As soon as you stop, you kind of get a little bit nervous and, you know, cause you're not doing something every day. But hey, there's more than enough work, guys. We will have another busy year next year. If this was your first year in business and it's been hard, keep at it next year will be a better one you've built your standing now in your area people have saved your number and they're just waiting to give you a call come spring so best of luck to everybody thank you again for all the well wishes love and support uh signing out maybe i'll see you before christmas maybe i won't i don't know but if not see you in january thank you for watching guys peace oh and before i go as well thank you to ian the homeowner his wife they've really looked after us he's just pulling up again now um star customers absolutely amazing we've had lunch every day we've had uh, pizza and burgers so i didn't I, I left to drop the van off when the burgers were coming out damn it i miss them um but we've had loads of food he's a proper gent as well he's a really nice bloke so thank you ian i'm sure you will watch the video and i'm sure all the comments were saying please get that tennis court re-coated re so let's do it man so yeah all right guys that is actually it now see you later